welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today in the series of podcast i will speak about the power of concentration how important it is for us to concentrate on the work we do and how the power of concentration can change the level of productivity you bring to your work and life so if you like this video you can press the like button also share this video on social media and also subscribe to my channel for more videos so the power of concentration is a very important power which every individual should have you can only achieve your goals the target which you have set for your life when you have clarity when you focus on the most important goals and when you concentrate on one thing at a time now this is where the power of concentration plays the most important role you have goals in life you want to achieve something but for you to achieve your goals you need to focus you need to concentrate single mindedly on these goals now this can only be done through practice over and over again until and unless it becomes a habit for you to concentrate on your work becomes a habit for you which will only happen if you practice the power of concentration every day so someone said good habits are hard to form but easy to live with however bad habits are easy to form but hard to live with now it is upon you to make the power of concentration a habit for you which you will practice for your life now fortunately the any habit can be learned with practice and repetition every day until it becomes as natural as breathing until it becomes the part of your subconscious mind and once anything becomes a part of your subconscious mind you do not have to remember it your brain will automatically work and make you concentrate on the things on the work which you need to do so practice does not make perfect practice makes permanent now the major problem in the world of work today is distraction this is why people don't achieve success this is why people do not get results this is why people get frustrated this is why people are under tremendous stress cell phone social media facebook twitter linkedin amazon fire tv all these things are a source of distraction that will never allow you to work single mindedly on the goals of your life so if you are not concentrating and working on the goals of your life how will you be able to achieve the results now once you are addicted to social media or any form of outside uh, appreciation you will be in a way a slave and will never be able to come out of it and this is where the ability for you to develop a habit to concentrate comes into picture now to get results required you must start and finish the work which is specific measurable and time bound you know that anything which is not completed is as good as not started so if you have been given a task if you have been given a work and if you don't complete it or even if you complete it by 90% or 95% is that work useful no it is not so unless and until you complete 100% of your task 
only then you will be called a successful person and you can only achieve 100% of your task when you concentrate on the work which is given to you. So how you can get uh, the work done, how you can concentrate on the work which you have to do every day. Now there are certain things which you can follow. I'll give you these tips which will help you to develop concentration in whatever you do in your life. First, you need to be absolutely clear about your goals in life. You need to think on paper. Organize your goals in terms of priority and be clear about the most important goal in each area at each moment of life. So you need to first come out with what you want from your life. What are your goals? Write them on a piece of paper. Every day, write down your goals on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. The benefit of writing your goals every day in the morning on piece of paper or on a whiteboard is these goals will slowly become a part of your subconscious mind and your mind will continuously work towards achieving these goals 24 by 7. So actually you are programming your brain by giving this as a feed, as a food. And this will automatically become a part of your habit, your daily work. And you will start to achieve results. You will start to get results. Now you need to have a plan. Once you have your goals, you need to have a plan. You need to have a checklist. You need to find the resources which you will require to achieve your goals. So you need to plan for everything you want to achieve in life. Make a short-term goal, a short-term target that you want to achieve for example you have a dream to make a big house for yourself and your family and this dream can be completed in next 10 years so what is that you will do today to achieve the goal of making a big house after 10 years the first thing that should come in your mind is that you need to earn and save money for that big house after 10 years so you will make monthly plans how much money is required for you to save every month in a year how much you can save extra apart from what you are saving monthly this is how you will make your goals achievable so you can also practice the famous and the most prominent 6P formula, proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. So you need to properly plan everything in advance and work towards achieving your goals. You can make a list, list of everything you have to do on daily basis to achieve your goals. You can list all the tasks which you have to do at a particular day according to the priority so making a list every day of all the activities which you need to do throughout the day will give you a sense of assurance will give you a sense of control over yourself and over the day you will be more relaxed less stressed because you know what you have to do for the whole day and you are doing your work as per the priority which you have set even before starting the day. Now this is a great trick for you to learn how to concentrate. You need to set priorities. You need to understand what work is more important at present. You need to single-handedly do the most important task which will ultimately help you to achieve all the other tasks. For example, today, I have to finish four important works. Now, which work should I start first? The easiest or the most difficult one? You should always start with the most difficult of the task and complete it. 
hundred percent before starting the next one so once you achieve and complete the most difficult of the task achieving the easy task would be just a cakewalk for you and once you have already achieved the most difficult task you will be assured relaxed stress-free and be able to get more results this is how you will learn the power of concentration and trust me this will change your life so I'm sure this video has added value to your knowledge to your experience and it will certainly help you to live a better life from today if you like this video you can please press the like button share this on social media and also subscribe to my channel so that I can bring quality videos to you every day. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. If you like my video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon.